friends, this is part 236 of the My Little Pony game. Right now we're playing a little balloon pop and it's going to be a long session of balloon pop because actually last week my game glitched out and it kept renewing my balloon pop. So I don't know if the prize is stuck, but I wanted to show you that my game was glitching out. So here I had just traveled to Ponyville and came back into Balloon Pop and everything refreshed. I decided something was really wrong so I actually reset the entire game and came back into play. Because if you're working on a limited time story, you do not want your game resetting and glitching. Believe me on that, I have lost prizes doing that. So now let's move on to the limited time story that was on for last week. It's called Cutie Remark Somberverse Redux and here we have Starlight Glimmer. Ah, another day of guidance counselor office hours and I think I'm in a better place to handle any uh, questions about my personal experiences this time around too. Princess Luna's dream therapy really helped me work through those kinds of personal issues. But I think I might find a non-royal therapist for weekly sessions. Less of a wait that way. Uh, excuse me. Are you Twilight Glimmer? My name's Bab Seed. Scootaloo told me I could talk to you about the time you, uh, broke history, I guess? Right on cue. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bab Seed. And I'd be happy to. Let's grab a table and some pastries at the bookstore's cafe, and you can tell me whatever you'd like. For this limited time story's first task, we're going to send Starlight Glimmer to the bookstore for a counseling session. When I tap on go, it takes me to the store, but it doesn't take me to anything regarding the story, so let's try to find Starlight Glimmer in our little book here. Oops, there she was. Let's go back here. Oh, she's on a group quest, so let's just replace the character, and it's going to take her three minutes. It looks like Starlight is done with her counseling session. Aw, I miss Babseed. I really have to get out to Manhattan more often. There are so many great ponies there. Alright, now that we're both sitting comfortably, what seems to be the trouble? Uh, trouble? What do you mean trouble? And why do you have a notepad out? to take notes with on, you know, your friendship problem. The one that I can draw on my experiences as a one-time uh, history breaker to give you perspective on. Oh, well, I'm actually doing great. It's just Scootaloo told me how you made a bunch of alternate timelines by accident and I was curious about them. Wait, really? Of course, really. Who wouldn't be? I barely know any pony who's time traveled before let alone done all that. Wow, I guess I'm the one who's learning a friendship lesson today. And it's about not assuming what ponies want to talk to you about. Sure, Babs, I'll tell you the whole story. So this is another short limited time story and we have a new boss battle. The rest of the story will be the boss battle. It has three phases. For the first phase, the boss has 1000 points of XP, I guess you would call it. I'll just keep tapping on the boss. Every once in a while I'll have to come back because you have to wait before you get more taps. And I thought I already welcomed Capper, but in case you haven't seen it, I'm going to welcome Capper to Kluge Town. Maybe this was part of the glitching, I'm not sure. Purportedly, Kluge Town's most trustworthy cat. A self-proclaimed title, we'll leave it at that. Yay, I completed the first phase. For that, I got 25 gems. In the second phase of the boss battle, it looks like the boss here has 10,000 points of XP. And the reward is going to be the Itsy Bitsy Spider. I actually remembered to come in so you could see the last blow. And there is our reward, the Itsy Bitsy Spider. It's actually really cute for a spider. And for the third phase of the boss battle, the boss has 50,000 points of XP. This was my second time completing this limited time story, so I got 50 gems instead of the original prize, which was Sombra vs. Rarity. My extra sapphires turned into 5 gems. Whoa, that was darker than I thought it'd be, but it was a real good story. Thanks for telling me about it, Starlight. 
You're welcome. I think it helped me too. If I can talk about times when I acted out without obsessing over them, it's a good way to make sure I do better in the future. Yeah, you know, I was a real jerk to Scootaloo and her friends when I first met him, but I put the work in to be a better pony, and now we're all really close. I think so long as you're really trying your best to be good and not looking away when you make mistakes, well, that counts for an awful lot, right? Oh, Babs, I'm so glad you came to see me today. Well, that's another day of office hours in the books, and a really heartwarming one this time, too. Still definitely keeping up with the therapy, though. As a very wise filly once said, if you want to be a better pony, you've got to put the work in. So in case you missed it the last time I played this, I wanted you to see the original reward for this limited time story. It's Sombraverse Rarity. All Universe Rarity's talents are wasted on sewing military uniforms. They don't even have those cool looking epaulette things. Really quick, I'm going to go in and check on my group quest and I want you to remember that this is a great way to get some extra prizes. The only thing is, I find it very difficult to remember to come in once a day and do the group quest. So let me know if you have trouble remembering to check on this. So in the middle of this week, a new quest popped up and the first task was called Grand Premiere and you were supposed to build a theater. Well, I built the theater a long time ago. So when I went in for the second task called Celebration 101, we need to send Twilight Sparkle to check her home library. Well, that's a big problem because I already have Twilight's castle and Twilight's library is only a decoration. So there is no way that I can finish this task. You can find the task in the little book here. But of course, right here is Twilight's castle. And like I said before, I do have Twilight's library, but it's just a decoration now. So every Friday you can look for new limited time stories. And this morning we also got an update. There's the new startup screen. Psst, don't tell any pony, but I just dug up a secret treasure. Find me so we can open it together. All right, we've got trench coat spike and there he is. They made it very easy to find him the first time. All right, every pony. Today's Team Ponyville Buckball Practice Sesh is going to be even awesomer than normal. And for an extra special reason. So listen up. Quibble Pants and Wind Sprint are swinging by later to watch us play. And Quibble asked me if we could show Wind some pointers. So are you ready to be super inspirational? Yeah! Uh, what Pinky said. That's the spirit. So before we start, I want to see extra hard work warm-ups from all of us today, including me. Don't want to pull a wing while a potential buckball superstar of the future is watching. This new limited time story is called Wonderbolt for a Day. It looks like we have 10 days total. This first task is called Rise and Give Me 20. And before I can really start, I have to go ahead and collect all these tasks that I had my ponies on. There we go. Now we can send Rainbow Dash to warm up and that's going to take three minutes. You guessed it. It's been three minutes and Rainbow Dash is finished warming up. Aw, Wind Sprint's coming to visit. That's awesome. And Quibble Pants is, uh, also going to be there, I guess. Uh, Rainbow Dash, I know you wanted Pinky and me to warm up together for today's practice, but she can't fly, so... What should we do? I don't want to leave her out. Way ahead of you, Fluttershy. I asked Pinky to come up with a joint warm-up routine for both of you. Tell her, Pinky. One word, Flutter Buddy. Dancer size. Well, three words, two hyphens. Is size even a word? Anyway, spelling later, dancing now. All right, they're telling us to check in on the community tab, so let's go ahead and do that. We have these challenges again. Rainbow Dash Fan Pony is our main reward. The second prize is Buckball Trophies. And of course, the third is 20 Gems. It looks like I have a lot of helpers except for the prideful Griffin Racer. He's 360 Gems. I have enough, but I'm going to hold off on that for a little while just in case. So let's go ahead and do our first challenge. 
This probably is like the last challenges we've been doing. I did notice this time there are no bombs. There's also no clocks or timer symbols. So it is a little bit different. It's simply just tapping on each of the targets and you collect whatever it was that is on the target. So you can get these pins, you can get bits, you can get gems, and you can also get shards of the different types. At the end here, you can see that you're collecting these Wonderbolt pins. And you'll just come in and challenge each of these ponies. The next time I'll be able to come in and do any of these challenges will be in about two hours. And we have a next task here called Maniac on the floor. It's going to take five minutes to warm up with Fluttershy. Oh man, I wish Pinky had told me about her warm up routine in advance. This could have been a job for DJ Scales and Tail. Let's claim that. We're here. Hi, Rainbow Dash. And Pinkie Pie. And Fluttershy. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for today. <laughs> hey, you wind sprint. And that makes five of us. I hope you and Quibble are ready for some serious book ball, because, uh, you mean serious Wonderbolt training, right? Not serious book ball. What? Uh, no, I really did mean, because you did get my letter right, about how wind sprints really into the Wonderbolts lately. So maybe instead of buckball practice, you could get them to give her flight lessons. You didn't get the letter? Uh, okay. Follow-up question. Can you maybe just organize some flight lessons right now on super short notice? Come on, I need this. All right, so now we have a boss battle. And you can see the little coins above Rainbow Dash's head. That means that we can collect coins by tapping on her. So we can upgrade her more quickly. Let's see. We can upgrade to the total power of 16 right away. We're almost done with 12 minions here. So, the recommended power is 16, and we have 16, but I'm gonna go ahead and level up a couple more times. And let's hit Fight the Boss. So it looks like this is just a timed battle. You don't actually have to hit any targets for this boss battle. I kinda like it this way. Let the ponies do all the work. But I can go ahead and level up, which is also different from the last ones that we've had. And our reward is Winner's Memorabilia. So we beat Quibble Pants in a fine wine. Wow, when his relationship with Wind Sprint is at stake, Quibble Pants is a really effective whiner. I'm actually mostly convinced. So let's go ahead and place it. But that's Pinkie Pie. This goes in Ponyville. Actually, this will be a nice place for it for right now. This is just a decoration, so it doesn't really make you any money unless you tap on it. It looks like Pinkie Pie and Fluttershy playing buckball. Please? Okay, okay, okay. I promise I won't try to participate this time. Getting on the buckball court was a one-time thing and clearly a mistake. And I can't even fly, so... <laughs> Relax, Quibble. So long as you don't shoot yourself out of a party cannon to try to be a stump flyer or anything. Yeah, I can set up some flight training for wind here. Yay! I can't wait! Quibble got me this book of all the Wonderbolt's flight records, and it's really cool, but I haven't met any of them besides you. Thanks so much, Rainbow Dash. Aw, oh, shucks. Anything to help out a potential Wonderbolt superstar of the future. I'll send word out to the squad and run through a couple of aerial drills. Me versus some of our best flyers. All you gotta do is watch and learn. And in between sets, 
How about I get each of them to touch down and teach you a little about what it takes to be a bolt? With that kind of training, you'll be a cadet in no time. So now we have 50 minions to defeat. This is definitely going to take longer than last time. I can go ahead and level up our hero gear once again. Rainbow Dash still has coins above her head. And we will keep coming back to check on our community tab so that we can earn Rainbow Dash Fan Pony. That's going to be the end of part 236 of the My Little Pony game. Next time we will finish up some quest for Cloud Days. And we'll also be finishing up the Wonderbolt for a Day limited time story. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that bell for notifications. Also, check out JoJo's Science Show, where JoJo and Grace do lots of fun science experiments. I love you, friends, and I hope you have a fabulous day.